Hello, I'm Entrilisium, and welcome back to Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2. We're currently playing the Imperial Campaign, we're in the Cadia Sector, and uh, we're going to end our turn and see what happens next. Uh, they're moving their forces out of Cadia. Our shipyards are ready to provide us some reinforcements. Time to see what the Adeptus Mechanicus have to offer our crusade. I'm guessing it's ships. Just a wild guess here. Add new ship. I hate that strobe. And... Demios Binary Shipyard isn't capable of full production just yet. We'll use Clawston for now. And wait until Demios is capable of crafting larger vessels. Systems under control linked by safe route form a network. Shipyards accessible for any system within the network they belong to. So basically you can uh, have fleets reinforced to any system provided you can draw a link to a system that can actually produce ships. Uh, for instance, Clawston here can produce one dot ships and Demos Binary can get up to two. It's currently at one. But you can get up to like cruisers. Clawston's if we click on Clawston. Are small, but can provide us with recon ships. So let's get ourselves a Firestorm. All is prepared. It is time to welcome a new vessel to the Emperor's service. Okay. Um, I wish I could just click on these to get rid of them real quick. The Lovely stroke. The of the Cadian Sector can now proceed. However... Let's deploy a minefield. So over here you can buy minefields, defense platforms, and space stations. We have only just begun. War is replete with opportunity. Let us proceed. We are the Emperor's fist. Let his foes tremble at our coming. I mean, that's the plan, right? Ooh, that's... That's some big reinforcing going on. The systems we have reclaimed are developing well. Okay. Prosperous systems can only be a good thing for our cause. We will protect them. So we can upgrade Demios Binary to a tier two. Um, that will make it Fox better. Ooh, okay, hello. It is Lord High Admiral Drang. So the old man's still alive. I told you he was too tough to kill. Admiral Spire, I trust you stand ready for orders. Always. Good. Strategically and symbolically, the Cadian Sector is vital to our efforts. You will reclaim it, Admiral. The Emperor protects. All right, thank Understood. you. The Emperor protects. Planning on doing that anyway, but sure. Right, so we now have our objectives. I'm going to just get rid of you, you, you. Like, I love the fact that it's like, this is a thing. And it says like, oh, look at the bar. And it never points you to the bar, which is... Unfortunately, the strategic tutorial is just a bit naff at the moment. I hope they fix that a little bit before release. Uh, a lot of the stuff is just to do with how it's designed in terms of UI and UX. Uh, Demius Binary now being tier 2, though, gives us a 40 resource generation. Uh, it gives the repair rate 4%. And it also gives troop regeneration. Ooh, unlocks Mechanicus Enclaves when the research station upgrades to level 3. Reduce the number of turns before a new Adeptus Mechanicus leader is proposed by one turn. Increases the starting level of Canada's ships constructed in sector. Okay, so there'll be a higher level ship being produced. Right, asteroid fields. If we upgrade you... Increases maximum repair. Repair rate. Generates construction points. We could upgrade that. We could also upgrade Clawston, though. Increase the resource generation by 6% in connected systems. So mining worlds uh, increase the generation of resources in connected systems. Miner shipyard. Uh, we get construction points. You know what? We'll go for Clawston. And we'll go for this asteroid field. And I think we will take the main fleet down to Heliotas. We'll move you down here as well. I'll claim you. 
Survivors emerge from the ruins of Cadia, looking for a way to avenge their kin. They offer their lives and everything they saved as a war effort to the Imperium. You receive 100 resources for 10 turns. Oh. Yeah. That's pretty nice. I'm gonna leave you here to defend, but I'm not even sure if I really should, because how am I gonna withstand that? I'm not sure if they're ever gonna attack me. If they do, I'm screwed. If they don't, we'll be fine. Can I, can I rename my ships? Hi. Can I rename you? Oh, we can! Fearsome potence. Uh, no, I'm not going to name... This is a really nice screen. I like the screen. Uh, I'm going to name these on the Patreon list. So, uh, I'm going to do the shilling. Uh, be quick about it. Uh, I have a Patreon. Patreon helps support the channel. It means I'm not subject to the fluctuations of ad revenue, etc. Blah, 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 blah. And also, uh, there is tiers and above where I take names and then randomize them in a list and then pull them out of a hat, which in this case is an Excel spreadsheet with a random number generator setting the order. And then the names get used in games. So, this ship is going to be... Father Prax. So let's make it more Imperial. Father of Prax. Father Praxia. Father of Praxia. There we go. Father Prax is the first one. Uh, then we've got a little Firestorm here. I really want to call something Fierce and Potence. Uh, this is going to be the Sail Fan. Sail Fan. And do we have another fleet? I wish I could get to the other fleet, like from the screen. We've got to, I think we've got to go back to Sector. And then... Void Inquisitor. Uh, you are going to be... Um, Darshuma. So let's be like full of Darshuma. No, not full of, because that seems like sad and... Like crushing defeat or whatever, which, you know, maybe a Chaos ship. But we're going to be Darshuma's... Vengeance. Yeah, that's a good name for a ship. Uh, back to Sector. And then... They do look pretty. Uh, Wary Wolf! Hello, Wary Wolf. You will be... Um, Pride of Wary Wolf. That's werewolf. That's close, but no cigar. Uh, that would be capitalized, which is wrong. Dauntless retaliation. This is going to be um, master of foxes. Master fox. Right. Back to sector view. Got not really any more money. I mean, could we afford like another firestorm? I think we could afford one. But I think we're probably better off saving up for now. We can capture this system. Next turn. Well, end turn for now. It's just, they're so intimidating now, they've just got those fleets at such a high level. We could take Vorka Torque. I wish I knew what they had here. I think now's the time, right? If we delay, they might get stronger. So I think we go in. I think we go in with all of our force. And we take them. Just double check there's nothing to be upgraded up here. No. Heliotas. Getting there. Agri world reduces the cost of evolution steps of all controlled worlds. Okay, right. Let's do the fight. Uh, okay, we're stronger than you. You're not a very particularly good leader, so you can't have much in the way of a fleet size. Blah blah blah. Okay, let's launch the battle.
Ooh. Okay. Uh, ooh, what's this? It's a very blue-looking asteroid, McGubbins. Like the proto-molecule from Expanse. What we'll do is we'll probably run I score up that side and you two up here. Course engaged. Fighters. One ship as far as I can tell. Right. Do we have the Auger Probe? No, Auger Probe was on the Mechanicus ship. We've got a disruption bomb. Uh, affects all enemy ships on the battlefield. Every affected ship's detection range is removed for 45 seconds. Oh. Supercharged Void Shield. Your orders? Right, let's swing out and get some torpedoes going. Heading acknowledged. Now, because they can launch, like, bombers and fighters and stuff at this extreme range, we're probably better off just heading straight for them instead of dilly-dallying, trying to take these points or whatever, sitting there getting attacked. Where shall we strike? Oh, no, actually, we've got interceptor squadrons. Yeah. There we go. Let's launch interceptor squadrons. We can actually... Mm, I mean, they outnumber us in terms of squadrons, but I think we can probably hold for long enough. Ship ready. Show us the enemy. Fire some torpedoes. We serve. Setting course. You have seized a strategic area. The enemy Damn. has seized a strategic area. Oh, nice. Light cruiser? Looks like a light cruiser to me. Engaging engines. You have seized a strategic area. Right. Launch some fighters. We wait your command. And get we you coming serve. as well. Maximum burn. Understood. All right, let's close. Chaos ships are actually pretty damn good at long range. That's what they're really good at, which is kind of odd considering chaos. Underway. Cruising speed set. So we want to get nice and close. These torpedoes might be a bit on the slow side. Right, and then plasma bomb. Here. Oh, a couple of nice hits, but they did do a fix, so they fixed the fires. Meh. Enemy sighted. Do a nice boarding action. Boarding successful. And they lost their shields. It will be Good destroyed. job. Just outside range. All power to engines. Right. Honor the chapter attack. Aye, and I think we're going to go straight Setting on, like course. dead on at them. Standard speed engaged. So what we'll do is we'll come to new heading, Acquiring new brace for impact, and this is where it gets fun. All ahead full. And then, because I can do this, I'm gonna watch in slow motion as we hit you with a full firepower and a broadside. And collide with your face. Oh yeah! That's what I like to see. 
It's a good deal of damage too. Your orders? Come on. Wants to spin around a little bit more. Get our boarding action out. There's the boarding action. Execute high energy turn. Target locked in. And we have ourselves an Ship escort vessel. Ready. Lock onto them. Right, you're going to be a priority one, so they'll target you first. Your orders? Plasma bomb. Ah, if I put the plasma bomb, we'll get hit. You know what? Acquiring new vector. We will burn retros. And then full on barrage of torpedoes. Oh, brutal. And then a plasma bomb here. Oh, it's looking good. Targeting enemy vessel. Very good. Give us purpose. And let's send bombers over to you. Initiate Thunderhawk bombardment. We wait your command. Aye, Admiral. Engaging target. Come on. There we go. And an escort. Oh, do we go through the middle of those asteroids? Oh, okay. Initiate targeting protocol. Ship ready. Our wrath cannot be denied. A little bit of boarding there. Uh, oh god. Um, move. You're causing a pileup. We stand ready. Ah! Oh! Nearly hit my own ship. Acquiring new vector. That's gonna be. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, okay, we were fine. <sighs> Last thing I want to do is damage my ship because I have to pay for it. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Ramming lighter ships is a proven and effective tactic. Okay, so you ranked up in veterancy. We've got some renown. Now we own a system. Even if there are mines here? Uh, do we want to leave Demil's Binary? I, I don't think we do. Oh, wrong button. Uh, add new ship. Can't quite get there. I think we can we can afford these, but they're locked by our renown. We need a higher renown to actually get more cruisers. So I think we'll just back out for now and end our turn. Seriously? Are we stuck in this screen? That was... Okay, you should have just shown me the sector view. You should have kicked me out of that screen to show me. Because then it was like, I don't know where they're building stuff. It's just weird. A Belisar. Upgrade you. Heliotas. Upgrade you. Mines are there. Is that saying like they can't put a third fleet in the area? Either way, I think we'll go over here and we'll capture this system. And 
And then it seemed to be attacking us. Like, we could just... Send all of our fleets over here. Because they're not responding to what we're doing. Yeah, let's try it. End turn. And they put a minefield in. They put a planetary defense weapon. Right, forward talk. Upgrade you, penal world. Uh, that's pretty terrible, except for connected hive worlds increases it. Okay. Anything else? I don't think there's anything else to upgrade. So we will send you up here. And I'm just in space marines. Yeah. Can't send you because the minefield's preventing it. So I'll actually leave you at Demios Binary for now. We'll take the fight. Alright, they're a lot tougher than the previous fleet are. In fact, they're actually tougher than us. Um, we could just retreat. I'm feeling lucky. We're going to go up against a more powerful foe. Okay, we're going to need to play this clever. I think we got to just hammer blow, go in as one group. Fight at close range, except for the Firestorm, which should fight a little bit further. Course engaged. Coordinates acknowledged. All right, get five squadrons up here. Underway. Setting course. Understood. All right, fire some torpedoes off. Heading acknowledged. Let's get moving. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Oh, there they are. Hello. Uh, do we get close? We did get close enough. Ah, uh, not close enough, actually. I am listening. Come on. Rearm! Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right, that'll help. To where we are needed. I'm going to delay the space marine vessel just a little bit. Aye, Admiral. Course engaged. We serve. I think we'll get some torpedoes out. Where shall we strike? There we go. Redirecting. Changing course. Is that going to be a hit? Ah! Oh. No, that wasn't a hit. That was shot down. Right. Plasma torpedo. Aye, Admiral. Enemy sighted. 
Torpedoes incoming! Torpedoes incoming! Uh, evasive maneuvers. New vector acknowledged. Show us the enemy. Standard speed. Yeah, you thought you'd get me. Not a chance, mate. I'm wise to you. Course engaged. That said, look at that awesome Thousand Suns ship. That looks pretty cool. We wait your command. We stand ready. All right, let's start doing some boarding actions. Launch Thunderhawks. Underway. We wait your command. Okay. I want you to circle around at longish range. Strategic area. Lock on. Lock on target. Scanner. I want you to brace your impact because they're all targeting you. Torpedoes. Ah, I think they're all shot down. Give us purpose. I Admiral. Boarding caused critical damage. Target locked in. Right, let's just go straight into one of the escorts and then go past the main ship. There we go. Brace for impact. Cruising speed set. Right. Done. Where shall we strike? Redirecting. Boom! Plasma bombed. Uh, your shields are up, so we're actually going to change we target to you. We serve. And then, if we turn around and flip... Acquiring new vector. Come on, give me the torpedoes. Engaging engines. There we go. Show us the enemy. Engine destroyed? Nice. Full speed. Oh, hello. That's pretty. I'm not sure if she's going to particularly easily unlock from this. Oh, uh, no, we are. Give us purpose. Ready. Right. Coordinates acknowledged. Another plasma bomb could do. Engaging target. There we go. They'll get out, but you won't. Did this just try and board me? Standard speed engaged. <laughs> Might have overshot that a little bit, but they will still hit, because once you initiate the boarding, regardless of range, you you board. Just the visual bit gets a bit weird. Execute high energy turn. All head full. One. Underway. Ah, oh, did I just miss you? Right, high energy turn. Uh, I'm trying to board this one actually. Wrong one. Whoops. That one is the one I'm boarding. Because you see they're on like rank two of their troops. I pressed the wrong button. Ah! Torpedo's wasted. Ah well. Enemy Let's see if we can line ourselves up for a boarding action. Oh, we've been quite badly injured. We wait your command. How are you doing? Your orders? You're hunting them down still. I've rather been kept busy. Where shall we strike? Changing course. Course engaged. Alright, boarding action. 
Warning teams have crippled the There we go. The enemy has accumulated 25% of strategic points. Can you do a repair action? I am listening. Not yet. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Okay, if we flip around, I think we can get torpedoes just in range of that second ship. No, just too shy. Oh, so close to killing you. Engaging. I am wrong. Ah. A little bit more. And they got their shields up. Damn it. Your orders. They have a fire though. The fire might kill them. 3 hit points, 1 hit point. Boom! Killed by fire. Oh, we are very badly injured. Tech Marines, calm the machine spirits. All right, boarding action and boarding fighters. Drifting Hulk. Nice, we killed everyone on board. We wait your command. What if we can board you anymore? Whoa, okay, they're doing something. No. Can we get out of the ring? I think we can. Your orders? Ah, they were going for a self destruct. The enemy has accumulated 50% of strategic points. Where are they? Up here. Heading acknowledged. We wait your command. You take that off them. Show us the enemy. Ah, there they are. Ship ready. Setting course. Impossible, Admiral. I just got to close on them. Luckily, we have fast forward time. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Uh, hello. Engaging engine. I see you. Enemy sighted. Call to arms to raise our troop number a bit. Enemy sighted. The enemy has accumulated seventy five per cent of strategic points. Maximum burn. Enemy sighted. Right. Bombers, go Easy. kill them. Thunderhawk bombardment. Enemy sighted. Go. Come on. Enemy sighted. Obliterate that target. Hi there. No, oh, we just bumped them. It worked. Impossible, Admiral. Our borders have caused internal damage. We wait your command. Hold course. Okay, they're hiding in there. Teleport attack. Teleport attack successful. Nice. Course engaged. You have seized a strategic area. They're close to winning just on points. We need to kill them. The enemy is close to victory by strategic points. Yeah, we need to kill them. 
We slowed them down a little bit by grabbing this. We serve. We stand ready. Repositioning. Here we go. Feel our might. Underway. Show us the enemy. So close. Come on. They've got like 60 points until they win. Changing course. All ahead full. Do we win? Yeah. That was close. Okay, maybe maybe the strategic points are a little bit more important than they used to be. Not bad for being outnumbered so poorly. Hmm. Ah, I really want to renown because then we can unlock, uh, what is it, light cruisers or cruisers? Something. Agri world. Ugh. Still, a world's a world. Uh, right. The campaign is certainly engulfed in minor battles and little drawbacks. The enemy take advantage on this breach. The threat level of any fac every faction is raised by one. Um, I don't know what the threat level means, but sure. Yeah, you need to upgrade your number of people on board and your health. You're kind of okay. Minor shipyard, mining world. Yeah, definitely want to upgrade that. Hive world. Uh, is there any buffs to like regenerating people in systems that isn't just nearby systems? I don't think there is. Because we need to get more troops for the Space Marine ship. Because uh, the Darshuma's Vengeance actually took quite a lot of damage. But it was entirely down to boarding and stuff and demons or whatever. So I think we'll just kick it a little bit more cautiously for a couple of turns. We've got a really nice income. Agri world, meh. Asteroid field, shipyard upgrade, yes please. It's expensive, but these upgrades are going to be so good. Right. What can we afford now in terms of ships? We can't because he's still locked by level two. Yeah. But we can get light cruisers. Okay, we need to get level two renown so we can. Ooh, I'm just gonna knock stuff off my desk. We need to get level two renown so we can actually use cruisers. We're still limited at the moment, which is really weird considering we're Admiral Spire, savior of the Gothic sector. I can't use any big ships. They won't let me, despite the fact we're trying to take back Cadia. It's, it's totally important, but they still won't give me the stuff I need. Uh, but whatever. I'm not salty about that. Um, right, who could we target? Because it's got to be someone we can take with the fleet as it is at the moment. It's probably going to be Xercia, which is one, two, three, four jumps away, so we can't attack it this turn. So we can move people this turn and prepare for next turn. Upgrade you. 
I think we'll add a ship to you, but it's just going to be like a, a Diddy escort ship or something. Hunter. Like macro. Torpedo launcher. Ah, we can't actually afford a glider, so we're over. They're a bit expensive. Okay. Well, we can get you another Firestorm. Yeah. And you're going to be... The Par... Suchpajro Shinigami. Uh... Uh, Wrath of Sapajro. That seems good to me. And then we'll move you over to this sector. With the idea we're going to attack you next time. Sweet. I do wish I could zoom out more and actually see the layout of the sector. But you can't. It's really annoying. I would love to zoom out and be able to see more than just like two or three systems. I want to be able to see the layout because the way it's laid out, like this goes to here, to here, to here, to here. And then to connect back to the main, you need to come back to this or possibly here. So I need to move around so much. This is just pointers for what I'd, I want fixed after the beta. Uh, also, the flashing symbol thing we did before, the notification things. Uh, also, when you're buying things, right? If I go to Demos Binary, uh, maybe not a good example. Maybe if I go to Clarkson. No. Here we go. You have to click the tier symbol, not the number below it. Despite the fact that the number is the cost. I want to be able to click the cost to pay for it. Either way, I've got no money. This is a good place to end today's episode. I'm going to take on Xerxia next time. Hopefully liberate that. Because I believe that's a hive world. Yes, it is. And a cardinal world. Increase the bravery of ships. Oh. Okay, yeah. We're going to take uh, Xerxia. Bye next time. For now, I've been at Real Hopefully, you enjoyed. If you have, like, you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Also, feel free to give me a comment down below. Let me know if you want me to play certain bits of the campaign, if you want to check out certain ships, uh, or if you're looking forward to it, because uh, it's always good feedback to get, like, if you want to see more of the series, or if you want to see more of a certain aspect of the game, uh, or, you know, just to help with YouTube metrics, because YouTube demands comments for the comment garden and all that jazz. But until next time, I've been at Real like, subscribe, and stay shiny.